This stat about Freddie Jackson's dominance in the 80s will blow you away. When we think of black music in the 1980s, these are some of the names that immediately come to mind. Michael Jackson, Prince, Stevie Wonder, Lionel Richie, Janet Jackson, Whitney Houston, Anita Baker. Bands like Cool in the Game, Cameo, and the Gap Band. Along with smooth, polished R&B crooners like Luther Vandross. But far too often, we forget about the singer who clearly was one of the biggest R&B artists of the 1980s, Freddie Jackson. The Harlem, New York born and raised vocalist was truly a formidable force in R&B. Freddie was a chart-topping machine and one of the premier kings of R&B radio in the 1980s. So here's a quick overview of Freddie Jackson's success in the 80s. Freddie Jackson had a total of 17 songs that appeared on the R&B singles chart during the 1980s. 13 of those 17 were top 10 records and eight of those 17 were number one hits. So almost half of Freddie's songs that debuted on the R&B charts made it all the way up to number one. Now, let's look at the albums Freddie Jackson released in the 80s. Freddie's 1985 debut album, Rock Me Tonight, went to number one and is certified platinum. His 1986 sophomore album, Just Like the First Time, also reached number one and also went platinum. And Freddie's 1988 album, Don't Let Love Slip Away, reached number one and was certified gold. Now, here's the stat I teased in this video's headline that will blow you away. 41 weeks. That's how many combined weeks Freddie Jackson's three albums in the 80s spent at number one on the R&B charts. Don't Let Love Slip Away spent one week at number one. Rock Me Tonight spent a fantastic 14 weeks at number one. And just like the first time, spent an amazing 26 weeks at number one. 41 weeks. Very impressive, right? That's like having a number one album on the R&B chart for nearly a whole year. But what makes this stat, 41 weeks, even more remarkable? These three Freddie Jackson albums spent more combined weeks at number one on the R&B charts than the albums of any other artist during the 1980s. Except for Michael Jackson. Thriller and Bad, the two iconic albums Michael released in the 80s, spent a combined total of 55 weeks at the top of the R&B albums chart. And Thriller is the only album that spent more weeks at number one in the 80s than Freddie Jackson's 1986 record, Just Like the First Time. Thriller spent 37 weeks at number one, while Just Like the First Time spent 26 weeks at the top of the R&B album's chart. Although, I think it's worth mentioning that Rick James' 1981 album, Street Songs, spent 20 weeks at number one, and Lionel Richie's 1983 album, Can't Slow Down, spent 23 weeks at number one. Of course, there's an elephant in the room when it comes to Freddie Jackson's outstanding Billboard R&B chart history. Even though Freddie Jackson had many number one R&B hit songs in the 80s, as well as number one albums that spent weeks upon weeks on top of the R&B charts, 
His sales numbers are solid. They're good, but not great. Why? Because Freddie Jackson was never able to strongly cross over to a broader audience beyond his core base of true R&B fans. The way Luther Vandross eventually poured off in the late 80s into the 90s through the duration of his career up until the time of his death in 2005. To illustrate this point, Freddie's Rock Me Tonight was the singer's only album to reach the top 10 on the pop albums chart. And even though Freddie had all those number one R&B hits, only his 1985 single, You Are My Lady, got close to reaching the top 10 on the pop charts, stalling out at number 12. But regardless of his average showing on the pop charts, Freddie Jackson had the core R&B market on lock in the mid 80s through the early 90s. And it simply can't be overstated just how impressive Freddie Jackson's feat was to be second to only Michael Jackson for having the most combined weeks at number one on top of the Billboard R&B albums chart in the 1980s. So thanks for joining me. Make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And here's my personal invitation. Subscribe to this channel and then share this video with your friends. Hit the bell in order to be notified instantly when new videos are released. Your support is greatly appreciated. Here at Soulful Charts, we got the receipts. Thanks for joining me again. Peace.